everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Michelle and I am a mom. I have a nine month old baby girl and we are currently sitting in her nursery. In today's video, I am finally going to be able to share with you guys how I organize her dresser, which is right behind me. I am really proud and happy with how I figured out how to organize her dresser because it really works well for us. And I feel like just having it organized cuts out all the chaos or not all the chaos, because there's always gonna be some chaos, but it cuts out a lot of the chaos, the little tiny chaos of life by being organized. Especially when you have a baby, your first baby, you are given so many clothes, and it just seems like a lot. Like when you are gifted or you're going and buying all these clothes, you're trying to be prepared. It seems like a lot, there's just so much. And so I looked at all the clothes, I thought, how the heck am I gonna organize this? How are we going to make it work for us? and I love the system that we have. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything when it comes to organization of the dresser. I also have to finish organizing the dresser for her new transition into her new size. So she is way, way past where she should be for sizes, which is totally fine. She is a very long or tall baby. Um, she is nine months old and she is in 12 to 18 right now, but it's getting a little tight. So I'm going to now be putting in the um, 18 to 24 months clothing and I have to sort some things. I have to put some stuff into storage. And I know all moms are different. Some moms don't even fold the baby's clothes. They just kind of put them in there and they, that works for them. And that's totally fine. Everyone has to come up with their own system and this is just one that works perfectly for me. All the products that I use to organize her dresser is going to be linked down in the description box and I will also share them and show them with you and how we use them. There are a few things that we got on Amazon. There's a few things we got from Ikea and the main thing we got from Ikea was the dresser itself. It is awesome because it doubles as a changing table. So on the top, I have the Kikaru peanut. We love the Kikaru peanut by the way, but any changing table pad thing that you want to put on there. It works great. It's the right height to be able to change your baby and not be like bent over. That's the top of the dresser, but let's go look at the top drawers of the dresser because those actually aren't all clothes. We use that part for some other baby things that we just need to have on hand. So for example, this drawer, um, I, and I don't have this one labeled because it's just kind of like odds and ends and things. So we have these little organizers and I use this throughout the whole dresser. We got these from Ikea, but you can get these organizers from Amazon. I think even Walmart and like Target has these, but they're great and they come in different sizes. So we have like little baby products. Like a lot of it is stuff that we've honestly never even used. We were gifted or what have you, but it's kind of like backups, just like diaper creams, a little travel diaper cream, just like little things like that we keep in there. And then this is more of our medical one. So we do use a lot of this stuff, of course, um, like the Frida Baby nose thing, the one we got from the hospital, which I think we only used this when she was like real, real, real little, like saline spray, that kind of stuff. So um, that is all medical kind of things. And then behind that, we have, again, more odds and ends and stuff. So I keep her like nail file in here. Um, we have coconut oil. You can use coconut oil for so many different things. Then we're gonna move over to the next drawer. And this is where we keep her nighttime diapers and then also her teethers. And this changed when she was little, we had all of her passies in here, but now we found that we need to have her in a like nighttime diaper that just lasts longer. So I actually need to change the labels of these. Um, I'm gonna do that today with you guys. For this one, I just have these little baskets. I like to just organize everything into their own little space. It just makes it so much nicer inside the dresser so things aren't just falling all over the place. Like this keeps them nice and tidy. Um, so I have that one and then we have a bunch of different like teethers and things that we've gotten and so we keep that in there as well. And then on the other side we have bibs and then we have burp claws. Um, a lot of these are in the wash but this is usually honestly filled if we are up on our wash and then this we have so many of these. Now these are just like the fabric bibs. I keep the other bibs um, in like with her food stuff in the kitchen but these ones are like the drool bibs. And then so for the labels you can see how they're just like right on top and that way it's hidden when it's closed but then when you open it up, you can see exactly where things need to be. Maybe labeling things isn't your thing or maybe it seems over the top, but hear me out. 
if you are sleep deprived, <laughs> which as a mom, you, you probably are, or if someone's helping you, if you have a babysitter, if your husband, if your mother, whoever, like if you have a family member coming to help you with the baby, especially in the early stages, and they don't know where to put things, if they're helping with laundry, if they're just helping grab something, it's so so nice to have things labeled there's no questions either like with my husband doesn't know where something is like that's not in a case for us because everything is in its place and everything is labeled and it just makes it that much easier i'm pretty sure this last drawer yeah this one needs updated too okay so like i said it is summer so i have a little swim section here all her swimsuits are in the wash and then these are socks and i need to make a label for that she really honestly is mostly using her um closet right now well besides like you know the stuff that you see like the onesies and that kind of stuff because in her closet we have all of her summer dresses and that is so nice to have her in summer dresses right now because diaper changes are a breeze so we really just have a lot of dresses in the closet and so we don't have as many clothes in the dresser as we used to when she was little this thing was packed it was filled to the brim it was winter time fall time and so we had all the things this part of the dresser is where i have a system for um sizing so across the whole dresser we have two sets of drawers and i have two different sizes um so you can see this is the old one this is the one that i'm going to be filling today this one was our nine to 12 month sizes i pulled all of that out before this video i packed some away i have more to pack away today and label and all that but i already have you can see all these empty and ready for the next size and then this one over here is 12 to 18 this is what she's currently in right now so basically what i did and this started from newborn you know till now in the very beginning this drawer was for newborn clothes and then this drawer was for zero to three so when she didn't fit into something in here, you could just pop over here and grab it. Then you didn't have to go and unpack anything to find the clothes. You didn't have to worry about where they were. They're already here ready for you when you have a baby that is crying or whatever, you know, like you don't want to have to go and find the box of the clothes and the size up. And she's done one size, like right now she's done nine to 12. Um, this is now her primary drawer. And now I basically stock this drawer with the size that is going to be next. And then it's just the same process over and over again. So also what's really helped us is having a spot for clothing when it does not fit your baby anymore, um, just to throw it in a bin, throw it somewhere that you know that's what that bin is for, and then know that all those clothes in that basket need to be packed up. So the labels that we chose and the clothes that we have in here are just what works for us. Like I know a lot of people like to fold the footed pajamas. I actually always hung them. It was just easier to see. Um, she's not wearing them anymore, but regardless, the labels that we have always had in here are short sleeve onesies, long sleeve onesies, bottoms, and then this part kind of varies. Um, so for this one, I had hats. And then over here, again, short sleeve onesies, long sleeve onesies. This one for summer is shorts and then like those little cute, um, what do they call it? Like the bloomers, like the diaper covers. Those are right back in here. And then this is long pants, which I thought we weren't going to be having long pants anymore but she is crawling all over the place. So we brought back the long pants. In these drawers, we use these little dividers and then we also use these dividers I got on Amazon and they are just like little tension dividers. They're fantastic. They keep everything tight and organized so it's not falling over. It creates a whole nother section in here. You could probably get smaller baskets for here too, but we just don't do that. We don't need it. Um, and then back in here, cause there is a little space behind these I keep a little things that we just don't need often like stuff that you just put to your way so today I'm going to be filling these as much as possible um, changing some of those labels and then I still am using with her this size the 12 to 18 so this is going to stay I just have stuff in the laundry that I have to put in here basically we keep in here swaddle blankets regular blankets I used to have this divided when she was younger with swaddles um, because we use them and then, you know, just for the blankets. For right now, this is just the blanket <laughs> drawer. We keep all of her, like, bedding, her sheets, her protectors, all that kind of stuff is in here. This drawer um, is handmade things. So my mom handmade a lot of clothes for me that she then passed down for Rosie. Um, and then this is stuff that I handmade 
for Rosie. So I just keep it all separate so that it's nice and cared for. I don't want to mix them with the other clothes because it is special. It's been long overdue since I organized this dresser because of her gross birds. So her swing, which she's no longer in, has just been home for all the clothes that she has grown out of. And what we do is put them in these gallon bags and then put them into a big, big plastic tote um, in our storage bin. Still have to put those clothes in bags, so I'm gonna do that today. In the very beginning, when we were gifted all the clothes and we had everything, we probably had like all the clothes we probably needed from zero to, I don't know, like six months. Um, I went ahead and I washed everything before she was born and I put them in baggies, like the gallon bags that you saw. This is the bin that has clothes in it that are too small or did have clothes in it that are too small. I emptied it. Um, I have bags in here from when I unpacked them. So I just keep these, I keep them, I stick them in there and that way when I go to repack them up, I don't need to waste the plastic, waste the baggie. Um, it's already in there and I can just reuse it to pack it right back up. I'm gonna get to work on organizing the clothes I still have to pack up, trying to get the labels and everything and the dresser basically reset and ready to go. else too that needs to just be said about packing up your clothes your baby's clothes is looking at like outfits and things that you remember putting them in this hit me the hardest when I packed up her newborn stuff the first set of clothes you're so excited to put your baby in these little outfits and things and like we're just full of pajamas and stuff at that point but it's still like things that when you were pregnant you washed and got ready and you were just so excited and then to pack it up it's just it's it's so like melancholic almost but i don't know let me know down below like do you get the feels too when you pack up your sweet baby's clothes we have one huge plastic tote that's filled and then we have another one that's starting to be filled and she's only nine months so shopping bag of clothes is all ready to be taken down to our storage unit really we might end up having to put all these into like vacuum seals like I would just take this whole thing and put it in a vacuum seal bag with all the others to save space because it's just it's taking up a lot of space in our storage unit but it's working right now I just feel like maybe you know down the road we might start to run out of some room the other thing that I'm packing up are my dividers for the closet so these dividers I actually just created in Canva so for every different size group for clothes that would hang I had these and they helped us a lot right now she is in this size where honestly like especially because she's in dresses pretty much every day all day She's in a size where it really varies um, on the type of clothing, but like a dress, for example, she can wear wide range. It is just started to work. <laughs> she can wear a wide range of sizes. So um, I only had one more size grouping left. I'm just gonna pack it up because I find these are way, way more needed when your baby is really little. Like when it's newborn, three to three, three to six. Oh my gosh, like we use these a lot. Made sure that we had clothes ready to go that were bigger sizes and that we didn't mix them up so these are great like I said I just made this in Canva printed them out and then I laminated them front to back put a hole in it and then I just got a binder ring and it sat right on her rod of her closet and then I updated my dresser with the new labels I did end up labeling this one which is some miscellaneous health things and then so I put on the new the night diapers um, for this one and I just do arrows like if there's something way back there uh, I put a little arrow saying the thing that's closest is this thing that's farther away this one is the one that she's currently in 
Um, like we really only use onesies right now, pants. So this is set for her for now. The good thing too about doing the system is you can see what you need to buy, which we have like nothing for 12 to 18 months. Or not 12 to 18, 18 to 24. Um, we have the onesies and we just buy the big Gerber packs from Amazon. They're just all white. Um, now that we're buying her own clothes and like they haven't been gifted to us, we are just very basic because you know, we know she's going to grab them and that way we can reuse them for our future kids. So short sleeve, long sleeve, and then we need to get some bottoms for her. And honestly, at 18 and 24, this might turn into just tops, short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, bottoms, because she's getting into more like t-shirts and stuff rather than onesies too. All right, everyone. So that is it for my organization video of my dresser and how I organize the dresser for my baby, how I transition the clothes sizes for my baby, everything that works for us. Now, hopefully you can take some of this information, some of these hacks or tricks, or the links down in the description box to help you stay organized. I know motherhood and having babies, like the whole thing can be a little overwhelming, especially for new moms and a little chaotic, but these little things will help you. It just keeps everything more calm, a little less chaotic, when you know exactly where everything is. So that's what works for us. I hope it helps you. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are not already, I create lifestyle and mommy content. I love to share life as just like a new mom, as our family is growing. And we also love to garden and do things outside. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe. And you can also follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Michelle R. Rose. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.